Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see, you stay and subscribe and decide to become a part of the Money Minded tribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back y'all. Hope this finds everybody doing well and that you're enjoying some beautiful springtime weather because here in Chicagoland, we surely are not. Let me tell you, since I got back from LA a week and a half ago, it's been so dreary and cold, very misty, rainy, just nasty. I'll go ahead and say it, just nasty. So it kind of puts you in a funk in a way. But one thing I noticed this morning when I was uh, coming back from dropping Jacob off at school is how green everything is, how bright and verdant the grass is, the trees, the leaves, the flowers, like everything coming up now. Um, is really bright and beautiful and uh, especially set against the, the gray sky, you know. I don't know. It was kind of neat. It was kind of nice to find beauty in the rain this morning. So that's uh, Michelle's cockeyed optimism for, uh, for this morning. <laughs> Let's move into the video, you guys, shall we? The theme of today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. Are you all surprised? Well, you shouldn't be because you know how I love my Dollar Tree. And uh, I had an evening free yesterday after work and I decided to run some errands and I decided, you know what, I'm going to uh, take my path into the city and check out some of my uh, city locations. I went to two different stores. They're two, uh, I love these locations. These are usually really good ones. And I did, I found some really awesome solid stuff that I'd love to share with you guys. So why don't we just go ahead and get into it. So to begin with, um, my mom... Uh, you know, Mother's Day is obviously coming up and it's also my mom's birthday coming up. So my mom's birthday is May 10th, which um, butted up against Mother's Day means, you know, added pressure to be favorite child. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, but I decided to take advantage of um, this particular location I went to first had, was very well stocked on all cards, including Mother's Day. And I thought, huh, let me go ahead and do this now before everything's all picked over. Right. Because it's coming up, you guys, before you know it. Um, so first, I went over to the section that has the voila, handmade looking cards, and I love these. I took this one out of the package, you guys, just to show you, um, because the glare was too intense, and I wanted to really show you guys the beauty of this card that I picked for my mom. It said on the outside, it says, Happy Mother's Day, obviously. Look at that foil, and look at the rainbow iridescence. Isn't that beautiful? That alone, but um, look at how, I'm going to turn the card aside a little bit. Look, this is all three-dimensional, this overlay on top of this beautiful uh, multicolored striped background, it really makes for a strikingly beautiful card. Look, with a scalloped edge, I put the envelope behind it so you guys can uh, also take note of the scalloped edge. It's really such a beautiful card. So obviously on the outside, it says Happy Mother's Day. And on the inside, which also is beautiful, it says, On this day and every day, you are loved beyond words not for what you do, but for who you are. A kind, funny, smart, and amazing woman. I'm grateful to have you in my life. That sums up my mom. She is a very funny, kind, smart, and amazing woman. And uh, when I grow up, I'd like to be just like her. I'm still getting there, guys. I'm still getting there. Uh, so that is for Mother's Day. And then um, I... Uh, Look for another one of those handmade type cards that I thought would be um, a nice gram you know, grandma card from Jacob, but I didn't see anything that really captured the message right. So then I moved over to the Heartline by Hallmark cards and uh, first starting in the two for a dollar section, I figured, well, if I don't find anything here, I'll go ahead and splurge at a dollar a card, which you guys, that is the best bargain ever. I mean, at a dollar a card, which by the way, this handmade card, one dollar, not even a dollar twenty-five, one dollar for these. Wow. And... Um, all of the cards here that I'm going to show you next are from the Heartline by Hallmark, and those were from the two for a dollar variety. I did find some really cute ones. Um, so this is a Mother's Day from uh, Jacob to Grandma, and then here's what the front looks like. And it says, Happy Mother's Day to a grandma who is kind, caring, talented, helpful, unselfish, and understanding. And loved. Happy Mother's Day. I thought that was perfect you know, and uh, young, but not too juvenile, you know, definitely grandson to grandmother. I thought that was cute. And then, uh, like I mentioned, it's also my mom's birthday. Um, so um, I picked out uh, a couple of birthday cards, one from me, and then one from Jacob. And so this one is the one from me. 
and it says on the outside, Mom, I thought you'd appreciate a birthday card from a kid who always listened, never talked back, and never disobeyed. But I have no idea who that would be. <laughs> so I that literally made me laugh out loud. I'm like, yep, perfect. Works for me. So that is from me to mom. And then here's the one from Jacob from to grandma. Here's the outside. And it says, Grandma, you're pretty cool. And I'm pretty cool. So how do you explain that weird generation in the middle? Happy birthday to my awesome grandma. And I this also made me laugh out loud. I'm like, yep, Snark City from Jake. Perfect. Give a little poke to mom too. <laughs> I like that a lot. I thought that was super cute. And then lastly, it is also my sister-in-law Kim's birthday. And um, I don't know, this one just made me laugh because I'm a dork. But anyway, it says, it's your birthday. Do whatever floats your goat. And yep, once again, laugh like a loon in the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't too crowded there, so nobody thought it was too crazy. And I was just like, yep, in the cart for Kim for her birthday. So those are the cards. And then, um, you know, speaking of the whole Mother's Day deal, I saw this um, MDF shelf sitter that says, Mom, you're the best. And see, it's made from that MDF. It sits just like so. Uh, this can go on your counter, on your mantle, uh, tiered tray if you have a large enough one, because this one's sort of wide. I don't know how wide. I probably should have taken a, a measurement for you guys, but I just thought it was sweet. I don't know. I liked it, and I just went ahead and popped it in the cart and um, just put it out as... Mother's Day decor. Why not? Why not? So I like that a lot. And then um, over to the craft section real quick, or I guess this is home decor. I use this for crafting. These little framed um, signs that come with the wood bead hanger already ready to go. You don't even have to make one. Dollar Tree did it for you. And I like this particular one. I, first of all, I like the light colored frame on it. And it says, you are meant for big things. And what I also like about it, so how I craft with it is, and I've shown this on the channel before, but in case you're new here, um, what I do is look how easily, see, it's just like a regular picture frame. You just pull up the prongs and you can pop out the picture, if you will. What I do on this side is I paint it down white and then I decoupage a napkin on it to make a cute little plaque, a cute little reversible plaque because I'm gonna leave this intact. So in case somebody, the recipient, or myself, if in case I ever wanted to flip the message. Um, it's very easy to do so. And I bought these because, now these were not purchased at Dollar Tree, but these are beautiful little cocktail napkins that I found at my local grocery chain for $1.25 a pack, which I'm surprised about. Usually their fancier paper goods are really expensive, uh, but these were $1.25 a pack, and I'm wondering if they're trying to keep up with uh, our old friends at the Dollar Tree. I don't know, but I found first this hibiscus pattern. It's like a cocktail napkin. I thought these are so pretty. And you get, um, how many do you get in here? 16, 16 per pack. And the other one is this cute one that says Summer Vibes. Isn't that awesome? I love these, I think they're so pretty. So I wanna make a pair of plaques and um, this size napkin fits perfectly on the plaque. It will frame up beautifully when decoupaged to the panel. So that's what I use these little frame things for. So I picked up a pair of those. And then what next? Let's go to health and beauty because I got a few goodies here, um, including now um, I've seen people haul these and I've heard people saying they got these for 50 cents. And I heard somebody the other day say that they picked this up for 25 cents. And I was like, ooh, so I was super excited when I saw just one. Uh, there were a couple other packages there, but somebody had already stolen the item out of the packages. So this was one that was intact, the only one that I found intact. And that is this Lip Smackers uh, with sunscreen. And I was so anxious to see what price it rang up at, and it rang up at $1.25. But you guys, I'm not really disappointed because, let me put my glasses on so I can read all the fun stuff on the package. I'm calling this grown-up lip smackers because this stuff is awesome. It's called Kiss Therapy Sunscreen with SPF 30. That's really great. Um, this is the grapefruit fragrance or flavor. I haven't, you know, haven't tried it yet. Um, it's clinically proven moisture locking formula with coconut and jojoba oils, citrus antioxidants to help protect lips against free radicals, uh, visibly healthier looking lips. But SPF 30, you guys, 
you can't beat that. And for $1.25, I love lip smackers in general. Um, I just think it's a really nice lip balm in general. I like the texture of it. I love the flavors and scents. Um, so I don't think I'll be disappointed in this one. Like I said, even at a buck and a quarter, I still think that's a good deal. So I picked one of those up. I think that comes in a berry also. Had I seen it, would have scooped it. We'll see. Maybe another store will have it someplace else. We'll see. Um, what else from Health and Beauty? Oh, so Dollar Tree has been exploding with really awesome name brand toothpaste. Uh, not just like your regular Crest and Colgate, but the like really bougie Crest and Colgate that costs seven and eight, nine dollars a tube at Walmart. Oh, no, thank you. Um, so I happened to stumble upon this one, which I've never, I've never seen this before. And I haven't seen anybody else haul before, but the brand is called Theory. And it's uh, got a lot of info on here. It's fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste. Enamel Care Wild Peppermint is the flavor. Uh, it says designed with science in mind, made with fluoride to remineral remineralize enamel, prevent cavities, and nourish teeth. No extraneous ingredients, made without dyes, parabens, and SLS. No added artificial flavors, only real mint. I was just so attracted to the package. You know, I mean, look at it. It says clean, doesn't it? But sounds like it is a clean formula. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Distributed by Procter & Gamble. Okay. Cool. Okay. Expiration date on the bottom here says JL23. So I'm presuming that to be July of 23. So this will be one that um, I will put to the uh, front of the toothpaste stash to use up first. And I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But they had a ton of it at the store. There's uh, at both stores actually that I went to. They had a ton of it. So assuming this is widespread and around the country, look out for this guys and uh, use it quickly because July of 23 is the uh, best buy date or is the uh, expiration. So Theory toothpaste. I thought that was cool. And then um, I decided to pick these up upon recommendation from my friend, uh, Sweet Sadie J. How you doing, Sadie? Shalom. Um, now, so she always picks up, and sorry, words are hard when you don't have enough caffeine. It's early in the morning. Sorry. Sweet Sadie J has recommended these always panty liners. You get 20 in this little pack, 20 no feel protection always liners. And I thought, you know, yeah, why am I not picking these up? I think I assume this to be a smaller package. They're just incredibly thin liners. You know, I feel like I get lucky when I pick up um, these, the Kotex security liners at Dollar Tree. And these did come from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is a pack of 16 liners, but look, you get 16 liners and that's how big the package is. 20 liners and this is how big the package is. I mean, yeah, I'm anxious to see if I like these better, um, because these are actually more, you find these at Dollar Tree pretty consistently. So if I like these better, I'm gonna start using these, but we'll see. I don't know. I appreciate the recommendation though, Sadie. Thank you. Uh, what should I move to next? Let's move into some food because it's early in the morning and I haven't eaten yet. And I would like to taste test a few things for you. So let's, uh, let's check it out, shall we? Um, first of all, some repurchases. I still managed to find two more packages of the Barilla Ready Pasta in the Rotini. I know some people don't like this. I love it. I love the convenience, but these are actually going to Hugo. He takes them for his lunches sometimes, you know, um, in, with a little container of sauce and he can make himself a quick hot lunch when those ham sandwiches start getting really old. <laughs> and then um, I picked up, this is also a repurchase. Uh, we have Wax Poetic about the popcorners in this house. We love the white cheddar in particular. These also come in the sweet and salty kettle type in a red bag, uh, but I didn't pick them up this time. I got two of the white cheddar. Uh, Jacob didn't see the bags yet, so um, after this, I will go put them in the kitchen and he'll be excited to come home from practice starving and see these on the counter. So I picked up a couple of those. Also a repurchase. I went ahead and rode that banana wave one more time with this uh, chocolate banana wave uh, non-dairy banana milk. This is luscious, delicious. I love it. I do. I love it. Um, after a meal, if I really want something sweet, I pour myself a little cup and just kind of sip on it and enjoy it and savor it. And it's outstanding, you guys. If you see this, just pick it up. Just try it. Just try it. It's really good. Yum. <laughs> uh, another repurchase is uh, these Wortman chocolate sugar wafers. I was hungry. 
but apparently not hungry enough to tear into them. So here they are, the Borkman wafers. I love these. They're delicious. I love them a little too much. Now for a couple of new items that I've never seen in stores before. Uh, the first of which are these Olira breakfast biscuits. Um, I found two of the three flavors available. Um, this one is the hazelnut carob. And this one is cinnamon tahini. And don't these look good? Let's talk about some facts. Uh, it says on here, sustained energy from ancient Greek grains. Uh, you get four grams of fiber and five grams of plant-based plant -based protein uh, per serving. Um, let's see, it says four servings per container. Uh, serving size is three biscuits uh, for 180 calories, seven grams of fat, four grams of sugar, total sugar, or sorry, four grams of fiber, six grams of total sugar, and five grams of protein. Here are those nutrition facts if you guys want to take a quick look. Ingredients include whole grain flours, which with spelt, oat, lupine, and barley, cane sugar, sustainable palm oil, tahini, which is a sesame paste, and I love tahini, uh, honey, flaxseed flour, cinnamon, baking soda, sea salt, and natural flavoring. I literally just named every single ingredient on there. Wow, that is impressive. Very impressive Olira biscuits. And because I'm hungry, we're going to go ahead and tear into them now. So first, let's see. Oh, nice. So this is what you get. This is an individual pack. And each serving is three biscuits. You get three inside there. So that uh, that's the cinnamon tahini. Let's see what the oops, hazelnut carob looks like as well. Yeah, here's hazelnut carob. Perfect. Perfect to pop into your purse, into a lunchbox, briefcase, backpack, whatever. Your kids don't like to eat breakfast? Shove one of these in their backpack, right? Well, if they taste good. Let's see. Okay, so first I'm doing, uh, this is the hazelnut carob. And that's what it looks like. It smells good. It smells like a healthy cookie. It doesn't smell super sweet, but that's okay. First thing in the morning, I don't like particularly sweet items. I'm not the person who eats donuts for breakfast because it'll be good. And then 30 minutes later, I'll be starving because my sugar <laughs> peaks and crashes. That's not for me. This, this is more my speed. So, okay. Mmm. I like it. Not very sweet. Not very sweet at all. Um, not savory, but I mean, it's lightly, lightly sweet. It's very tasty. I would argue it does not taste like hazelnut nor carob to me. Carob is usually cut a sort of like a chocolate flavor. I'm not picking up any of that, but I like these. I think they would be, <laughs> they would be especially delicious dipped in banana milk, but even if you didn't dip them in banana milk, in tea, in coffee, um, or milk, whatever, this is delicious. Mmm. Really good. Oh, Michelle, you got the cinnamon teenies. Come on. All right, let me chew this up. Mmm. I like. It tastes like a healthy cookie. That's the way I would put it. It just tastes like a healthy cookie. Very good. Now, let's do cinnamon tahini. Yum. Those are a little bit lighter in color. Mmm. Ooh, you can smell the cinnamon. Very fragrant. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Ooh. Also delicious. Not very sweet. Again, I would recommend... Dip it in milk, your tea, your coffee. Um, yummy. Delicious. The cinnamon is nice. It's fragrant. Mmm. Mmm. That's a yes. Ooh. Okay. I bought two boxes each on a gamble that they would be good. I'm so happy that they are. Yay. Lyra bre breakfast biscuits. Get into it, guys. These are good. Mmm. Should have brought water with me. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, moving on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, another item I found, I've never seen anybody haul this. I've never seen this anyplace else is, um, the brand is called Lola's. It is a chickpea snack in milk chocolate. Are these chocolate covered chickpeas? That's what I think they are. I'm actually not quite sure, <laughs> but we're about to find out. Um, 
it says here 10 grams of fiber and 11 grams of plant protein. Wow. Um, this is a product of Turkey distributed by Advanced Beverage Incorporated out of New Jersey, but it is a product of Turkey. Um, this is three servings per container. So this container is considered three servings. Uh, a serving size is 30 pieces. Oh, you get quite a bit in here. Uh, for 120 calories, five grams of fat, three grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar. And where was the protein? Three grams of protein per serving. I see. So this is per box. They're calculating per box, but let's open this up. Look at this box. Isn't it nice? This would be really nice in a gift basket. Again, if they taste good, let's find out. I like the packaging on this very much. So that opens up and then inside is a little foil sack like this. Okay. We're going to open. Ooh. Okay. I think they are chocolate covered chickpeas. Yep, they sure are. Can you see that, guys? So I'm assuming this is like a dried chickpea. Have you guys ever done that? Um, I've taken um, a can of chickpeas, rinsed them thoroughly, dry them with some paper towel, and then put them in your air fryer with a little bit of olive oil spray and some seasoning. I've made them savory. They're delicious. Try them. Get them, in, get them uh, um, baked down um, until they're nice and crispy, and they are quite delicious. So I'm presuming that's what these are like. So let's go ahead and... Try one. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's good. The chocolate is very, um, the chocolate reminds me of the kind of chocolate that, um, you know, the gold foil Hanukkah coins, the, that milk chocolate that comes from Israel. That's what that chocolate tastes like. So it doesn't taste like an American chocolate. It tastes like a very milky, milky, milky chocolate. Mmm. They're good. Oh, yeah. These could get addictive. These are pretty good. I like them. I would definitely buy them again. I'm kind of sorry I didn't buy more than one. I just bought one because I'm like, well, I don't really know what this is. So, mmm. Okay. Might have to check. Might have to check uh, other stores and see if I can find that again. This is Lola's Chickpea Snack. It's a 3.5 ounce container for $1.25. Yum, yum. Mmm. Oh my God. The more I eat, the more I like. Okay. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> Some more chocolate for breakfast now. Stuff that back in the box. Okay. Um, just a couple more items, including, oh, I was excited about this, you guys. So um, Dollar Tree is just killing it with the solar lights this year. Have you guys noticed? So many different new styles. Oh my gosh. They have the color changing ones. They have uh, ones that look like little lanterns. They have ones that look like flowers, sunflowers, all kinds of incredible solar lights. So <laughs> I literally gasped when I saw boxes and boxes of these crackle glass solar lights. Oh my God. You guys, I wish you could feel the weight of this. If you haven't seen these in person, they are weighty. These are, that's glass people. Nice, right? And they're so easy to activate. All you have to do is unscrew the top, just unscrews. And then inside there's a little switch. There's the, there's the little bulb. There's a little switch. Turn it on. And because my light is so bright over here, I don't know. If you, oh, there we go. Here. If you guys can see. Let me do this. Hold on. Let's make it a little darker. There you go. Maybe you can see it a little better now. Isn't that awesome, you guys? How cute and it hangs like so. I was so impressed. I bought six of these. I bought six because what I want to do, let me shut this off for now and screw the top back on and carefully secure this over here. Because what I, what I'd really like to do, let's get some more light back over here so you can see me. Hi. Um, what I was thinking of doing is I want to string them up in some way and put them across, um, my, uh, my little screened in porch that I have on the back of the house. Um, I don't know yet if I want to use like twine or rope, or I thought of these are items I bought last year and these are available now at Dollar Tree from the garden, uh, from the garden section here. It, it's these plant hangers. I bought two of them last year, not knowing exactly what I was going to do with them. Cause I really just like the chain. This also, you guys is pretty weighty, um, for the money. Not bad. Um, it's meant to, um, it's meant to support a potted plant. So, you know, 
it's got to have some sustenance to it, right? So I thought of somehow, because um, these are different strands of chain, like somehow linking them together and then hanging the lanterns off of these chains. I don't know. I got to experiment with this. I don't even know if I have enough length between these two packages of chain or if I'm going to have to go back to Dollar Tree and hope that I can maybe find one or two more. I'm not sure yet, but I thought of these and thought maybe we could give it a go. So I was pretty excited for that. And the last item, you guys... I visibly guessed, because I've been looking for this for a while. Um, last time around, they gave us 36, but this time, and I picked those up, by the way, but this time, I got the 50-pack of the Prang colored pencils. These are stunning. This alone just does everything for my soul. Oh, just looking at it is so dang pretty. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? You get 50 pencils, including metallics. Uh, it's both, it, very blendable color. It's a beautiful set. Uh, the set of 36 that I found um, the last time, I've already given away to Hugo's niece. She loved them. And now I have two sets of 50, uh, one for myself that I'm going to keep and one that I am going to uh, hang on to for a future giveaway. So I'm not sure when that will be, but look out for you. Look out for it, you guys. If you don't wind up finding this in store, maybe you'll uh, win it in a future giveaway from me. You never know. And with that, you guys, that's it. That's my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you all so much for watching. This was kind of a long one. We're at almost 27 minutes now. So um, if you stuck with me to the end, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. If you're new here and you like what you see, please stay and subscribe. We have a good time here, you guys. And, um, it's fun is what it's all about, right? Anyway, take care, everybody. I love you all so much. And I bid you 